What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Valeria White, checking back in with another video. I go by V for short, and in this video, I will be showing you how to build architecture diagrams for AWS. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so what are architecture diagrams? All right, so if we make our way to the AWS.Amazon website and go under the Architect Center and under the architecture icons, you want to scroll down, and AWS defines it as Eight architecture diagrams are a great way to communicate your design, deployment, and topology, okay? And if you look at the right-hand side where my cursor shows, this is an example of an architecture diagram, all right? And my definition is simple and sweet, and pretty much all an architecture diagram is, it is a visual illustration of our cloud infrastructure. It shows us how um, our elements are interconnected, our service are interconnected, and it gives us an overview of the process and how everything works, right? So that's the definition of an architecture diagram. Okay, so now I want to go over the five steps of how to build an architecture diagram, okay? And I pulled this directly from AWS. So if we look at the screen here, this is actually a PowerPoint, and I'll leave a reference link down in the description notes of how you can pull this PowerPoint up. But basically, these are the five steps to building a diagram. The first step, step one, is to choose your deck style. And that's simply meaning uh, the type of icons that you want to use. Do you want to have icons that have a dark background or icons that have a light background? And if you notice, these are the two. This is dark. This is light. And the only difference in these two icons are the text. Okay. So in the dark background, the text is going to be white. Uh, in the light background, the text is going to be black, okay? And we generally use a light background, which is where my cursor is, for online web presence, as we are now. And you use a dark background, generally for uh, in-person presentations, okay? So that's step number one. Step number two is start with structure, okay? And if you read it, it says locate the groups. So basically, an example would be this type of group right here. It's just a box showing that whatever icons and elements and services within this uh, field is a part of the AWS cloud. You can also use this for a public sub subnet. Think about that box, a private subnet, auto scaling group, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So those are examples of groups. That's step number two. Step number three would be to go ahead and add your architecture service or resource icons, okay? This Amazon Cloud Search, that is an example of a service. And if you look right here, this auto scaling icon, that's an example of a resource, all right? So you, that's step number three. Step number four is going to be connecting the steps. So that's going to be connecting one service to the next, one service to the next resource, et cetera, et cetera, by using uh, an arrow shown here where my cursor is, okay? So that's step number four. And the last step to building an architecture diagram is to add any final touches, right? So this is optional, right? But the final touches could be what is called a numbered callout. And the numbered callout could give a brief explanation of what's transpiring from one service to the next. And you explain what's happening, okay? So those are the five steps of how to build an architecture diagram. And I'm going to go ahead and show you which architecture diagram we're going to build in this video. And we're going to go ahead and build it. All right. I'll see you there. Okay. So what architecture diagram are we going to be building in this video? Okay. So if you make your way to the screen, this is the architecture diagram that we're going to build. And it is a multi-region API gateway with CloudFront. All right. And again, go back to those five steps. And I'm going to quickly go over how we're going to build this. So first, we're going to start off by picking our icons. We're going to have the dark background or light background. Obviously, we're going to pick the light background because we're on the web, so it has that black text. The second step is going to be to go ahead and identify your groups. So on here, I see we have three groups. We have the AWS Cloud group. We also have the Region A group, and then we have the Region B group. Okay, so that's step number two. Step number three, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put all of our icons our services, our resources, we're gonna throw all that out there. So that's gonna be our Route 53, that's gonna be this global clients as well, that's gonna be this Lambda handlers. All of this, we're just gonna throw all the icons out and get them structured in the correct way, okay? That's step number three. Step number four is gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and connect all of these icons in such a way uh, that is shown here to really give an overview of what this infrastructure uh, really entails. So we're gonna connect 
this uh, icon to this cloud front. We're going to connect the cloud front to the AWS certificate manager, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And lastly, this is actually something we're probably going to skip, but I, I may show you a little bit of it. And that is the optional uh, numbered callouts or any other touches, right? So you'll notice that these numbers one, uh, two, three, four, they actually reference these descriptions down here. Again, those are the number callouts. So in the in the um in the demo we can show this of how you can put these numbers right here okay so that is going to be the architecture diagram that we build so that's enough talking let's go ahead and get right into it okay so there are many tools that we can use in order to build our architecture diagram like draw.io or hyperglance however i am a huge fan of lucid chart so that's what we're, we're going to be using in this video so i want you to go ahead and make your way to lucidchart.com go ahead and sign up if you already don't have a uh, uh, account with them, go ahead and sign up for their free version and meet me at the dashboard. I'll see you there. Okay, once you made your way to the Lucid Chart dashboard and you've already signed in, go ahead and click on the new button at the top left-hand corner. Then you wanna go down to Lucid Chart and click blank document. Now, what I'll go ahead and do, I'm gonna give you an overview of, uh, a brief overview that is of this app before we get started, okay? So first and foremost, if you just take a quick look and a glance at it, if you're familiar with Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, you'll notice that a lot of things are similar when you look at the top ribbon, okay? So you have uh, the, the type of text, right? Heading, subheading, body, you have the, the font type, you have the font size, you have bold, italicized, et cetera, et cetera. So all of that looks familiar, right? So very user-friendly there. Um, there are some different things, right? So some of the things I'm gonna highlight, uh, because we are gonna be connecting one service to the next, we can change the thickness and the type of line uh, with, this, uh, with this control here. And we can actually change like the endpoint of the line, okay? So that's just a quick overview of the top ribbon. Let's go over to the side panel that I wanna talk about. So they have a shapes panel, a containers panel, and a data panel. In terms of us building an architecture diagram, we will only stay within the shapes panel. And this is essentially where we'll grab, drag and drop the icons over into uh, our workspace, okay? So that's what we'll be doing. And you can connect one icon to the next icon relatively easy. All you have to do is just highlight the side of it, wait till it feels red, grab it, drag it, and drop it to the next icon. As simple as that, okay? And the last thing that I want to overview really quickly before we start to build an architecture is the navigation of it, right? So I recommend that you use a mouse. You can still do this on a, a, a keypad, uh, a trackpad rather, but a mouse is gonna be a lot easier, okay? So the right click is gonna grab and move around the workspace. Uh, the left click is going to select items. And then if you are using your mouse, uh, the middle uh, roller is gonna allow you to go out and come back in, okay? So that is a brief overview of the Lucid app and let's go ahead and let's build our architecture diagram. Okay, so I went ahead and cleared our workspace and now it's time to go through the five steps to build our architecture diagram, okay? So step number one is gonna be choosing our deck style. And again, deck style just refers to, do you want icons being in a light background or a dark background? Because we're online and on the web, we are gonna choose the light background, okay? And again, one of the beautiful things about working in the Lucid app is that we can import our icons, however, they already come preloaded in this application, okay? So that's one of the many reasons of why I like it, right? So in order to um, upload uh, the preloaded icons, you wanna go over to the left-hand side on the Shapes panel, click on Shape Library. Once you click on Shape Library, you should see AWS Architecture 2021, okay? So that's the latest version that Lucid App has as a uh, predefined uh, collection, okay? So let's click that check mark there and click Use Selected Shapes, all right? Once you do that on the left-hand side of the, of the, uh, the Shapes panel, you'll see that it now has all of the AWS icons and services loaded in here, okay? So that concludes step number one. Okay, so step number two is gonna be start with the structure. Now, before we begin, I'm going ahead and pop 
our architecture diagram on the screen so we can have a visual of it as we build it out, okay? So start with the structure. It's pretty much uh, selecting the groups that we're gonna need in order to build our diagram, all right? So if we look at the example, we have, and if I scroll up on the left-hand side of my shapes panel, I see that we have this AWS cloud and we also have two regions, region A and region B, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and organize these groups in the, uh, in the proper order. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I went ahead and laid out all of the groups and properly organized them correctly. And one thing I wanna highlight is if you need to change the, the icons uh, naming, all you have to do is just double click on the text as shown here, left click, double click, and you can change the name, okay? Because I had to change the region to region A and this region to region B, okay? So that concludes step number two. Okay, so step number three is gonna be for us to add architecture structure or resource icons, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and throw them all out on our workspace, arrange them properly, and then I'll be back with you all. So let me go ahead and work on that. All right, perfect. So I went ahead and completed and threw all of the icons, the services, the elements, the resources that are shown in this architecture diagram, and I properly arranged them as shown in the example, okay? Uh, one quick thing that I wanted to say is, so uh, in the example, their, their client icon looks different. So Lucid doesn't have their exact uh, replica of their client symbol. So I just typed in client right here, and then I just use uh, the Lucid's version, okay? In addition to that, um, I quickly went ahead and, let me, uh, I zoomed in, excuse me. So I quickly went ahead and put all of the icons out on the workspace. And I did that by just going to this magnifying glass here that Lucid has in the shapes panel. And all you have to do is just type in the resource. Like for instance, if you're looking for Route 53, just type in Route 53, hit enter, and it'll pop up so you can easily drag and drop so you don't have to worry about scrolling down and trying to find it manually, okay? So that concludes step number three. Okay, so step number four is going to be to connect the steps, okay? So let's, let me go ahead and give you a quick example of what that looks like. So if we hover over an icon, you want to wait until this white uh, circle above my cursor turns uh, pink and fills all the way in as shown here. So you want to wait till it fills all the way in. Click it, hold it down, and drag it over to the icon that you want to connect, and it'll automatically put it to the right point, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and work on connecting all of these as shown in the example, and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so I just wanna make sure I double and triple check to make sure all of the connection points looks accurate, okay? So really quickly, I wanna show you some of the things that I ran into. So let's say for instance, when I'm connecting uh, this client to this Amazon CloudFront, you'll just drag and drop and the line will look just like that. However, uh, let's say for instance, I wanted to uh, uh, connect this Amazon Cloud front to this AWS Lambda, right? How it, and I wanted the endpoint to be on this side. What I did was, let me go ahead and delete it so I can show you how I did it. I went from the Lambda side and connected it to the Cloud front. Let me delete this, accidentally came out. There we go, okay, excuse me. So. I started off by going from Lambda to CloudFront, connected that first. However, I want this arrow to turn the other way. So what you wanna do is click this button and it swaps line ending. So now that swaps it for where I want it, okay? In addition to that, uh, this connection point right here between Amazon Aura, between these two in the region A, region B. Um, let me delete it and let me show you. So I wanna connect this Aura to the next Aura, however, I want both of them to have endpoints. So you wanna click on the line. So there's only one endpoint here with the arrow. I want an arrow over here. You wanna click on this none and then change the endpoint. So now we have two endpoints on both sides, okay? So I wanted to just quickly show that. And that concludes our step number four. Okay, so step number five is going to be add any final touches, okay? So what I'll go ahead and do, because we do have it shown in the example, I'll go ahead and put the numbered out calls, uh, uh, excuse me, the number callouts, excuse me, on this diagram so you can see how that looks, as well as there are some text um, in this uh, workspace that doesn't directly align with the example. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. And actually, let me go ahead and show you um, how I will put the number call out. So I'm gonna go over here to the shapes panel 
right? And then I'm gonna click on this block text, not the regular text, the block text. And I'm gonna drag it out, drag it out here, okay? And what I'll do, let's go ahead and double click, and then I'm gonna put the number one, right? And then from there, I'm gonna change the filling from white to blue so it can align with the example. So I'm gonna go up here to the fill color and I'm gonna change it to blue, okay? That's probably not the exact color, however, it'll do for now. And then I'm gonna make it smaller, make it smaller, okay? Make it small just like that. And then I'm gonna click it and drag it to the right spot, okay? And then from there, I'll just uh, click on it hit control C for copy, and then hit V for paste. And I'm gonna just paste eight of them and properly arrange them as shown in the example. So let's, let me go ahead and work on that and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and put out the numbered callouts. Now, as stated before, I'm gonna go ahead and change the text for um, for some of these icons to match the, the example. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that now as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna make sure everything looks good, but I have completed uh, switching all of the text to what is shown in the example, and I've also added the numbered callouts. Okay, so that ends step number five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our tutorial of how to design and build an architecture diagram using Lucid Chart. Okay, one more quick thing I want to show you since we've completed our example, I want to show you how to export it and how to share it. Okay. So what you want to do on the Lucid Chart app, you want to go over to File, click File, and if you want to export it, you can, uh, you know, you have multiple options. Export it as a PDF, a PNG, uh, with a transparent background, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So let's say, for instance, I want to export it as a PNG, a picture. Let me go ahead and click that. You can uh, have a link and send that link out so people can see it, or you can, uh, you know, invite somebody with an email, but I'm going uh, to hit maybe later. And now you can actually see your architecture diagram on a white background, okay? You can also do that in the workspace. I didn't show you all that. But um, from the export uh, uh, section, you can you can also see it for, on a white background as well, okay? And, you know, you can uh, go ahead and you can even change the file format. PDF, currently I have PNG. Um, you can crop to content as it's currently shown. Um, if you do not want to crop it, it'll show the entire workspace. And the workspace currently is in a uh, paper letter format, I think eight and a half by 11, if I'm not mistaken. Or you can crop the content or you can do a custom crop, right? So maybe you only want to show, you know, uh, you know, region B and the, the global uh, clients part, right? Okay. And all you have to do from there is just hit download and you will have your exported uh, workspace, right? All right. All right. So that concludes that. That concludes that. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you to all who stayed from the very beginning and worked all the way through of how to build an architecture diagram for AWS. Okay, I want to say thank you all so much. And if you like this content, please leave a like, please leave a comment. If you're building architecture diagrams, if you, you, you use Lucid or if you use any other software, right? And uh, please remember to share. And if you also like content like this, we're also remember to subscribe, okay? It's your boy Valerio. I go by V for short. I'm checking out. I'm going to say peace and God bless. Y'all take care.